Welcome to the channel. On this episode we ride from Flagstaff, Arizona, to Williams, Arizona, and visiting the Grand Canyon on the way.
The Grand Canyon is part of the Colorado River Basin, which has developed over the past 70 million years. Over more than 150 years, scientists have gathered data, proposed new ideas, and debated sometimes contentious theories about the geologic origins of the Grand Canyon and the Colorado River. Formation of the Grand Canyon and the Colorado River may involve a complex history in which multiple factors and geologic processes have interacted over time and in different locations. Researchers have challenged estimates that had placed the age of the canyon at 5 to 6 million years. The research has aroused considerable controversy because it suggests a substantial departure from prior widely supported scientific consensus. In a 2008 study, Victor Poliak examined caves near the Grand Canyon and placed their origins about 17 million years ago. The emerging scientific consensus is that the canyon is made up of multiple segments, which formed at different times and eventually connected to become the waterway now traversed by the Colorado River. Of the three central segments, the hurricane was formed 50 to 70 million years ago, and the eastern Grand Canyon was cut 15 to 25 million years ago. In contrast, the Marble Canyon and westernmost Grand Canyon segments at the ends of the canyon were carved in the last 5 to 6 million years. The major geologic exposures in the Grand Canyon range in age from the 2 billion year old Vishnu schist at the bottom of the inner gorge to the 270 million year old Kaibab limestone on the rim. There is a gap of about a billion years between 1.75 billion and 1.25 billion years ago. This large unconformity indicates a long period for which no deposits are present. Then, between 1.25 billion and 730 million years ago, intermittent sediments began to form the Grand Canyon supergroup. Seven many of the formations were deposited in warm shallow seas, nearshore environments, the such as beaches and swamps as the seashore repeatedly advanced and retreated over the edge of a proto-North America.